This is the 2011 Sea Ray 300 Sun Deck. And here's a shot of this large Sea Ray with the covers off. Right now the bimini is rolled up. And let's start back here on the aft of the Sea Ray 30 Tour. What you'll see here is just a uh, huge swim platform. It's got a deep reach swim ladder right there. And then you'll see grab handles for ease of use of getting out of the water. Then directly in the center, you'll see a tow hook to tow a skier or a tuber. And then I'll just flip around. And that'll bring us to this aft facing seat. And then directly across the walkway, if I lift up here, you can see they have fender and line storage right here on the aft. And directly below that, you'll see a shower for rinsing the beach off. And that'll lead us forward, and that'll allow us to close the gate behind us. And directly as you enter to the starboard, you'll see a nice lounge. And then if I go ahead and give you a look in there, you'll see a speaker, drink holder, and your battery switch. And if I move below the lounge, and I open up here, you're going to see great storage and a cooler slides in there beautifully. And directly to port, you'll see a large table, plenty of seating around it. And of course, this all reduces down to a giant sun pad. Let's flip around to the aft facing seat. This seat is adjustable. And let me show you it in a couple of different positions. Here we have it pushed all the way forward, creating a sun pad facing this way. And here you'll see it pushed all the way back, creating a sun lounge here facing forward. Just great thinking by Sea Ray. Just a very versatile area to meet all the wants and needs of your crew. And flipping over across, you'll see your wet bar with your grill and whatnot. And let me go ahead and open that all up so you can get a look. And here is your fully equipped wet bar with your gas grill large sink down below a trash can and then if I open up here you're gonna see a large refrigerator and moving forward of the wet bar you're gonna to get to your captain's chair with a large bolster and then if I flip around that brings us to the helm and here looking at the helm you'll see the gauges are laid out nicely in front of the captain switches are all within easy reach that includes your trim tabs your Corsa exhaust also your windlass then you'll see here, you have your remote to the stereo, plus a VHF. And if I zoom in on this gauge right here, you'll see the hours at 235. And moving across from the helm, if I open up here, and this roomy marine head is a pump out, outfitted with a Corian countertop, sink that transitions easily into a shower, also a mirror and a porthole as well. And you'll notice everything is nicely finished in this head. Now if we move across to the other console and we open up here, you're going to see Sea Ray actually put a single berth in here. Right now it's filled with storage. And you'll see your legs go down there where it's all stuffed with bags and Coast Guard kits and whatnot. But just great thinking because it is either just a massive storage area or actually transitions into a single berth. Also in here, you're going to see your stereo, and it's a Sony stereo, it's iPod ready, and then up above you'll see the master ignition. 
Just great thinking by C-Ray all the way around. And if I go ahead and just shut this window, you'll see it creates a big wind guard for the rest of your crew on those colder days. If I go ahead and take the bottom half of this wind guard and just go ahead and close it this way, it fits nice and flush with the console. You'd never even know it's there. Just a really nice design. And we'll flip this forward. You just get to a very large size bow area. Just seating for a great many people. Or if I flip around this way, two very nice sun lounges. Once again, drink holders everywhere you look. In between all the seating, you'll see there's room for another table to be set up. And then if I lift up here, and once again, don't have to move any carpeting, and you'll see just more storage. Right now he's got his cleaning supplies stored in there. And if I lift up here, you have an insulated cooler. Right now the current owner is, is using it for line storage. And also you have a shower for rinsing off if you're getting out on the front of the boat. Then you're gonna see speakers. And if I move all the way forward, you'll see you're windless. And now we're lifting up the hatch to give you a good view of the engine compartment. Okay, and moving back into the aft, you're gonna see this Merc Cruiser 8.2 mag. You'll see also your Corsa exhaust. But if you look at this engine room, just absolutely beautiful. And now we've come to the time of the video where I talk about a condition report and improvements the next owner can make to this boat to make it even better. And I will tell you flat out, it's in excellent condition. I can't see anything cosmetically, mechanically, that the new owner will have to do to this boat. It shows extremely well. It is just a large, beautiful bow rider. Sea Ray just does this category so well. You can tell a lot of bright ideas just went into this boat. Taking a large storage area. And making it a single berth as well with a porthole. Just great thinking. A large marine head. Really good sound system. Plenty of lounges for people to lay out. Plenty of places to set up tables for food and games. Even the covers are in good shape. The only thing the owner says right now that he can think of on this boat is the barbecue gas grill needs a part and he's currently working with the manufacturer to get that part. But other than that he says everything's working perfectly. 